Ray, where are you going? Grandma Abby hasn't even started yet. Right. The milk bar. Ray, haven't you learned your lesson yet? Mommy, come on, just one sip will do. Ray, you heard your mum. No more sneaky plans from now on. Belle, are you feeling left out? Since Booper has now given more attention to her younger brother Boo, the newest addition to the family. Maybe not. This independent young lady is capable of amusing herself. My my, what a lovely day. Don't you just love observing them under the azure sky? Their elder sister, River, and their mum Amy are on the other side of the branch. This could be an aesthetic family portrait. Just a family squabble. The feeders are here, it's lunchtime already. Griffey, Audrey's son born in 2021.
What do we have here? Peanuts and bananas. And tangerines. It smells delicious. Sometimes I do get the urge to ask the feeders if I could have one. She's from Annie's troop. The feeders take good care of Dopey's boy band. Food is guaranteed, and the boys don't have to fight for it. I see these boys on a daily basis. Being the periphery of Skullhead's troop, they pitch up promptly after the whole clan has been fed. They have a voracious appetite. And that's Amelia from Skullhead's troop. Oh, Dopey's on the move again. Haven't you had enough? Will is probably one of the few true warriors among Dopey's boy band.
That's Annie's troop. But fortunately the feeders had filled their pouches before they were chased out of Skullhead's turf. There's our kind Liam who patted Teeny gently on her back when she got lost. I wonder if they're related somehow, just a thought. <laughs> the feeders had assigned two persons to feed the two troops separately, one is in charge of skull heads, and one for Annie's, in order to avoid direct conflict and to make sure that everyone has a full stomach. 